Thank the tides the weather held. This place can be treacherous when the waves are high. If it weren't for the holy water, no one would ever come down here. I'll be sure to watch my step. Water flows to the sea, then rises into the clouds. Just like life, the end is not the end, only a new beginning. My ancestors chose this place because it was where the first boat landed. Then it's a good thing they didn't land closer to the surge. Quite. I still can't help but be awed by it. Oh? All that wave ever made me feel was pity and sorrow for the innocent life trapped inside it. The child my great-grandfather sacrificed to try to change his people's fate. It was wrong. An unforgivable sin. But I often wonder, will my descendants ever forgive me for what I have done? As tributary, I've faced many difficult choices. And though I've always striven to do what's best for my people, here we live in poverty, hidden away from the world. So have my choices denied them a better life, just as my ancestors denied Walius his. No. You would not forcibly sacrifice one of your people to save the others. You do the best you can for all of them, as do I. We share in their woes, just as we share in their joys. And the most we can do is try to bring them more of the latter. Aye, you're right. And try I shall to bring all of my people a better tomorrow. Walius included. <laughs> then I wish you luck. If my time with the boy is any indication, he's going to be quite a handful. <laughs> then we must start as we mean to go on and give him the very best welcome we can. Where to next, then? Back to the village to find out if my brother has made the necessary preparations. Or got his lackeys to do it for him. We have the holy water. Is everything else in place? All ready to go. Told you you could count on me. Then let us begin. Famiel, have your men summon everyone to the Witten Hall. Right you are! Uh, Ashula, wait. I don't know the words. Don't worry. There aren't many of them. We'll have time enough to practice before people arrive. My friends, we are gathered here today to welcome this child into our community 
by the right of immersion, as has been our custom since the first reign. As tributary, I would normally perform the rite with the child's parents, but Walius's mother and father returned to the sea long ago. So I and my brother Famiel shall serve as his family, while the one who returned him to us shall bear witness in my stead. Clive, if you would step forward. Like the rain that falls on the mountains tall, are we born? Like the river that flows through the valleys below, do we live? See, where the currents run free, do we die? And do the clouds then rise again? The circle of water is the circle of life, and today from the heavens falls rain anew. This child, Walius, now joins our stream, and he shall flow with us from the mountains to the sea. <sighs> <laughs> you played your part to a tea, Clive. Thank you. It means a lot to us. I was honored to be asked, and terrified I'd miss. <laughs> now that you're part of the family, young Walias, my lad. Uncle Samuel can teach you the ways of the world. <laughs> oh, no, he can't. Eh? Don't be so hasty. Your brother's knack for self-preservation might serve him well. Ha! You are never going to let me live that down, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna raise Walius as if he were my own. Teach him everything I know about life, our people, and our past. But with all the mother crystals gone, he will grow up in a world without comforts. One where we only have ourselves and each other to rely on. I'd say your people are better prepared than most to survive in such a world, Shula. To thrive, indeed, under your guidance. Only if nature continues to smile on us. If we were to lose her gifts, we'd be left with nothing at all. Yes. But it needn't come to that. Not if we can stop the spread of the blight. So long as we can save a single patch of soil, we can plant the seeds for a new world. One where we can all be free. Perhaps then, we might finally be able to step out from behind our curtain, eh? 
till that day comes, I wish you good tide. Thank you. We should be on our way. Well, you be careful out there. Aye, you steer clear of trouble now. <laughs> Likewise. Must be the first outsiders to have witnessed that rite in over a century. Walius has been waiting for it for nearly as long. <sighs> he seemed pleased to be finally rejoining the family. Now all we have to do is save that family. To change our river's course. Oh, Walius is a little sweet. Yes? There. A good tie to you. May it serve you well. Then I bid you good tide. 